Thousands of people lined up outside Leicester Cathedral to pay their final respects to King Richard III, who's lying in repose in the cathedral. At one stage, people were being urged not to turn up, with the wait to get in and file past the coffin reaching four hours. In fact, demand to get in and see the king has been so high that the cathedral has extended its opening hours to try and accommodate as many people as possible. The king's coffin has been watched over by an honour guard made up of ex-servicemen. King Richard's coffin arrived at the cathedral on Sunday evening after a journey which started at the University of Leicester and visited several places of relevance in the city and county. On arrival at the cathedral, a service of complying was held and the king will remain in repose until Thursday when the reburial will take place. Our prayers for the king of this land, our prayers for his eternal rest, are not impeded or made invalid by the passing of these years. We pray for him today just as those who prayed for him at the time of his death in 1485. As we saw during Sunday's procession, there's been a huge influx of visitors from abroad into Leicester to witness the reburial. So it came as no surprise that the first person to enter the cathedral this morning was an American. Got here at about 6.30. That's been great. We've all been sharing stories. Uh, people from York, uh, from uh, Edinburgh, someone from Finland, of all things, here to uh, pay our respects. It was absolutely wonderful, but unreal in a way. This is a person that was lost in time, and now, 500 years later, uh, back with us. So um, it's hard to get your mind around, really, what's happening. Obviously, a lot of people have an enormous passion and excitement for this, and that can only be a good thing, and at least that they're going to be learning about Richard for who he is, as opposed to perhaps the mythological parody that's been sort of had portrayed about him before, because we didn't really know who he was, and now we're starting to find out. But for Leicester, it's wonderful, because they've really embraced him. And to be honest, um, I think they've always sort of felt very close to him, and for goodness sake, there's a Richard III road here, and that was before he was even uncovered in the car park. In the evening, the focus shifted to the Ramgaria Centre in Leicester, where the city's Sikh community held its own commemoration of the last Plantagenet king. King Richard III was born in 1452 at Fothering Hay Castle. Guru Nanak Dev Ji of Thad was in 1469. At this time, King Richard III was 17 years old. <laughs> The idea behind this event was to look at sort of classical music which was often played in the darbars or courts of the Sikh Maharajas and so giving the Leicester community a flavour of that but also showing a martial arts display using traditional Sikh weaponry and I think that's very significant because King Richard died in battle and so this was our way of commemorating Richard III. <laughs> A very multicultural audience saw a display of classical music performed by local artists and also a spectacular display of gatka, a Sikh martial art. It was wonderful to uh, join in with people and to see a celebration of King Richard from another face. As a Leicester man, I grew up with a multi-faith in Leicester and I came along today to find out a little bit more about the Sikh faith. Uh, which I knew about to some extent, but nothing like the detail that is available tonight. It's a superb evening um, showcasing the Sikh faith and the contribution that the Sikh community in Leicester has made towards the King Richard III commemoration. The audience, as I know you'll have seen, is, is very eclectic and uh, really appreciative, I am as well, of having been invited to come here and, as they say, join in a very Sikh celebration of a very English king. Dipak Patel reporting for Pukar News.